Hey guys, what is going on? It's Dorinir and welcome to episode 2 of the final boss title which in I will be killing 5000 bosses in total which 100 of each in order to obtain the title and for this episode I'm going to quickly show you guys some record times I got. I got a 5 minute and 12 Arexo which I'm going to show later on as well. A 1 minute and 28 Rise of 6. All these times I'm also going to try and improve on uh, different episodes. A 18 seconds for Zion. I think this was quite fast. Then for Dagonaut Kings, there is no Dagonaut Kings yet, sadly yet, in the future hopefully. For Bandos, a 12 seconds, I know this can be like 6 seconds, so I have to improve a lot on Bandos, I haven't done a lot of Bandos though. A 28 minutes fight kiln as well, that has to improve a lot more, my friends can get 23. A 27 I believe was it for Armadil Criera. A 22 seconds on Krill, I think this can be also like 15. A 22 Allegiance. I think this was some Primus or Sexus, I'm not sure. Now for next, I did some trio kills for the PVM Cup, but uh, I didn't really do it with the best team ever, so I didn't really get a good time for that. And for QBD as well, I didn't really go for speed times, but I got a 1, 1 minute 28. And then I haven't done any fight caves yet, and then also haven't done any Virgo yet. So that's it for the record times. So for each episode that I get better times at, at certain monsters, I'll be showing that as well. Then I think it's quite fun to see how much I can improve by for each episode. So yeah, in this clip I got my Arexi record kill, which is the 5 minutes and 12 seconds. Now in Decimus, we have the fastest um, times for the clan. And my friend got a 5 minute and 13 second kill. Now I was trying to aim for a sub 5. Hopefully in the future I'll get it. But for now, I managed to get a 5 and 12, which is 1 second faster than the Decimus uh, solo record. So I was really glad about getting this kill, and only 1 second as well, so it was a really close call. Alright, so the next clip is from my live stream from today, and be sure to follow me on Twitch as well. I'll be streaming most of my progress towards it, and some record times and loot, so be sure to follow me on Twitch. And for this one, I finally managed to get a drop, which took me around 110 kills. Um, seeing as I got my first leg on my fifth kill or something back when I was on holiday and this was also before I started the series so officially this is my first leg piece for the series and now it happens to be the bottom piece again which I got also during my holiday so uh, for the series it doesn't really matter because I need the two other pieces but now I've got two bottom pieces for the future Alright, so what I occasionally do on my live stream is I ask the viewers what boss shall I do next for one hour and this time, uh, a lot of people said do solo next. So I went to solo next. I did a couple of kills. I think I did a one hour long of solo next. And within the first few kills, I actually managed to get a pretty nice drop. Now, funny thing is that this was my this was the drop that I needed for my robbing the general series, where I managed to get all the uh, next items and all the God Wars items solo. And this item I couldn't get for like the love of my life. I couldn't get it at all. And then. After like months of solo nexting, I managed to get it, and for this series, I managed to get it as my first item, funny enough. But yeah, it was a first book, and it was like 60 mil, so it's not a really horrible loot, but then again, it could be better as well. Alright, time to look into the kill count, and now bear in mind, because I had some kills before I officially started the series, I made a spreadsheet just for the kills that I had before, so I'm not using the in-game count to show this, I did also use it in order to get my current kills out there. But uh, in this spreadsheet, you'll be seeing the actual kills for the series. So for Rexor, I've got a 65 total, almost 100, so almost done for a Rexor. But I'm going to keep doing a Rexor with my Reaper task and uh, trying to get a full weapon piece as well. Hopefully get an eye as well in there and make a full weapon out of it. That will be cool for the series as well. Now for Rise of 6, I got a lot. I've been doing a lot of Rise of 6. Uh, even now with the um, update to Rise of 6, where it made Rise of 6 less annoying... It's a lot of fun now, it's really good money as well, and hopefully with the uh, Trash Tail rework so you can uh, repair your like Malevolent Armor, the energies will go up in price as well. So Rise 6 is really great fun and a lot of good money. So Yana, I'm doing those for my Reaper test, so I got 32 for those. I did no Corp yet, uh, 30 Grado, I think that's the same as for last episode as well, I haven't done any of those. Her egg, and I started doing some fight kiln. I did two today. One I actually did in Legacy, a 35 minute in Legacy. And Call Fight Queen, I had to do that for the um, Morvran Slayer challenge for the Com Cape. 
So I didn't really do a lot of those, just the uh, one and then another one I accidentally got because some other guy attacked it as well, I didn't count for the Slay Challenge. For Carrera, I've been doing it quite some kills because I had it for my uh, Reaper task twice. Then Krill as well for Reaper task. Legions, I've been getting Signets as well actually, I've got two Signets so far. So hopefully I can make a full crossbow as well within the episodes or even more than one. Queen Black Dragon, I started doing that as well a bit. Um, 24 kills exactly in one hour, even less than one hour, I think that was. I think it was like 50 minutes of QBD, 24 kills, so that's not bad at all. And then also managed to get two um, pieces of the crossbow with QBD as well. And then I did some Dagonaut Kings for one hour, 109 kills, so not bad at all. I didn't get any rings or hatchets, so I was really unlucky. Usually I get like... Four hatches within 100 kills, but this time I didn't get anything at all. Then I did some hard mode giant mole because I heard from a friend that you could use the um, super ultra growth potion from the drop of giant mole on the spirit tree to faster to make it faster, but it didn't work. So I did some kills for nothing basically. Well, not really nothing because I have to do it eventually. Then I Cover King didn't touch that this episode. Next, a few kills like 10 solo, 10 trio. And then Jad, obviously, from in the fight kiln. And then that put us, puts us at a 681 total kills. Actual total current kills. And I also managed to get quite a lot of blue charms this episode. A lot of crimson. And minus green because I was doing some summoning for these range rocks and I used my green. So I'm probably going to filter out the green because I'll not be here. Like, I don't even pick up greens anymore except when I get them for Rise of Six. So yeah. As for the final part, like always, the loot tab. As you can see, I did organize it a little bit to make it look better. All the seeds together, all the herbs, all the ores, all the logs and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it started to look really good already. This is episode 2 and I'm going to actually price check it already. And I think I'm going to price check uh, the loot tab every single episode just to see like how much increase it has compared to the previous episode and the next episode. So I'll be price checking it now and let's see how much this is all worth. So now I did get most of the valuable stuff out there because I cannot price check all the loot and I have to do it in two price check but it's not really worth it. But the main loot is 180 70 million plus the 14 million which makes it over 200 mil already in two episodes so it's really good progress. Now this is obviously in excluding the spider lag piece because theoretically a spider lag piece is around 80 mil if the weapon is like 260 mil. Or around that so if I get the other piece and manage to make a weapon then that gets like an extra bunch of profit as well so yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this episode be sure to give it a like be sure to follow me on twitch and I'll see you guys hopefully next week for the next episode all right goodbye